Hey guys, just another video today uh, to help you out. I just decided to uh, do a video on how to replace a hard drive and uh, RAM or memory. Um, I'm not actually going to replace it, but I know. But it's as long as you buy compatible parts, uh, it's basically going to be the same. All right, so I'll just uh, put you to put this in a different position, and we'll go from there. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do, shut down your computer if it's on, unplug the cord, and then flip your computer on. Alright, so you just want to take your battery out. Uh, for a warning, if you've got an internal battery, do not attempt this, because you're going to still have charge in your computer, and uh, that's not going to turn out good, because ca your capacitors uh, won't be uh, flushed out. And also, you can't actually flush them out because they'll be. Um, it'll if you try the computer, the computer will turn on. All right. So if you don't have an internal battery, take your battery out. If you do, don't uh, attempt this. Okay. So remove your battery. Just put it to the side. All right. Turn your computer back over. Open it up and hold the battery, uh, hold the power button for five seconds to decharge all the capacitors in the computer. The longer the better, but that'll do. All right, now what you wanna do is flip it over again. Now, feel free to pause through the video because most likely you will not already have all your screws undone because uh, I've just got the screws undone because I don't even know where they are. Alright, so once you've paused the video and got all the screws out, just um, I'm just going to take my one screw out, it's holding everything together. Alright, so you want to take the cover off. Your computer will be very, most likely different, because um, most computers don't just come in one big cover. Most come in with little flaps, like, you know, the, a little pocket sort of thing with... For the RAM and the hard drive and stuff. But one, but feel free to pause again. But once you've done that, what you want to do is you want to find the, both the hard drive. So a hard drive looks like this. Might if you have an SSD, it'll look different. You'll have to search it up because none of our computers have SSDs. But I might put a picture in it. But Anyway, if you have a hard drive, it looks like this, the hard drive, and this is RAM. So, anyway, we're going to replace the RAM first. So, come in close. So, we're going to, the, the way to take the RAM out is you might, you'll have two little sticks. You want to push these both to the side, and it should pop up, and you just want to take it out. Same with the other one. Just to the side, pop out. Okay. So, as I said at the start of the video, I'm not replacing RAM. I'm just chuck taking it out and put taking it, putting it back in so you know how to do it. Make sure that you buy a compatible RAM. So, go on Crucial or something. Search up your product because all RAM has different notches, notches in different places. If you see here, you've got a little notch. And uh, this aligns with your, so your RAM socket. So the way to put it in, just you have to put it in on an angle as well, like it came out. Sorry, this one's a bit harder, but <laughs> just put it in on an angle like that. Push it till you back can barely see the pins, the, the contact pins, the contacts. <laughs> And push it down into here. Give it a bit of pressure. Don't be worried. It's fine. And do the same with the top one. Doesn't matter which one goes on top or bottom. I'm pretty sure. It should. As long as it's all getting detected. Alright. Push it in and push down. Alright. So you've just uh, uninstalled and reinstalled your new RAM. Um, but don't be worried about this. This is wi a Wi-Fi card. I'm pretty sure. But anyway. I this is a CPU here and CPU fan, so don't worry about that. Alright, now over to the hard drive. Now, if you take your flap off, you might have... Uh, the screws might go into here or 
without uh, you even taking the flap off, taking more screws out. But your hard drive might have screws in here to keep it from moving out because I had problems with this and it took me a while to figure out that my hard drive wasn't detected because it wasn't plugged in well enough. But what you want to do is you want to push your hard drive to the back of the computer out of the socket. And then you just want to, you might have, your hard drive will most likely have a tab to pull it up. Alright, so there's your hard drive taken out. Alright, so as you know, I'm not replacing it, but these are safer. Um, not sure what contacts, so um, there's, you might notice if you're trying an older computer, it might look different, but these are mod to modern day standards. Um, yeah, if you're swapping a hard drive out for an SSD, um, you, yours will also have SATA ports, just to keep it normal, <laughs> and not annoying, uh, if you're trying to swap it over. Alright, so to push it back in, you kind of want to put it on an angle as well, because as you might notice, these are on there. Okay, so you just want to push it in until it feels right, make sure everything's aligned. Push it down, and in. Alright, so you've just put the hard drive in. Alright, now you it de depends with everyone's computer with the um, cover over the components. But anyway, what you want to do is you just uh, put them on as you have to, like the same as how you took it off. Um, you want to have labelled all your screws or just remember where they are. Sorry, I said that at the end of the video, but uh, anyway... <laughs> Yours might have clips. Make sure they're tucked uh, tucked into the clip holes. All right. Put your battery in. Obviously. Uh, if you have a setting that uh, you might have two of these, and one might be on the lock position. Uh, uh, the unlock position. Change that to lock. This one might be a bit. This one will. This one will feel more clippy than push, and then the battery might puff out. So you want to do this one. That's more clippy. You'll. Oh, <laughs> that reminds me of bad moments. <laughs> so then you want to flip your computer over, um, plug it in, turn it on, and you should be good. If so, if your computer boots into the BIOS straight away, that means that uh, your hard drive is not detected. So you can either take the cover back off. So test it without putting the cover back on. And because um, you don't want to notice that you just put everything together and then you find out that it's not detected. But if it's not detected and goes straight into the BIOS, which you pro might know, you just want to um, give it a push again. Uh, if it's really that bad, take it out, put it back in. And if it's still not working, you might have an incompatible SSD or hard drive, or a dud. It might be broken. <laughs> you might not have actually got a uh, working hard drive, because if they're not detected, they might as well not work. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I hope you help. I helped you out. Uh, as uh, if you need help with that, come back. It's fine. Um, I can't help if you don't want to do that, but anyway, um, like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video.